we're gonna make little stick trees out of these pine stems which you can find at Hobby Lobby they have them at Walmart they have them at Dollar Tree the ones at Hobby Lobby seem to be a little thinner than the ones that you buy at Walmart and Dollar Tree so these ones are a little thicker I like the thinner ones but the thicker ones are cute too so we used the thinner ones that I got at Hobby Lobby for these and they were only $2.99 a pack which is a good deal and you get 20 of them which means that you can make a lot of these ornaments because these ornaments only take one of these and you have so many different options you can do with these you can put little pom-pom balls on them you can put buttons on them you can put little Santa hats you can buy these Santa hats in a pack there's these little ones from Hobby Lobby I think they were $2.99 for a pack of those too I put a Santa hat on this one a couple little beads for eyes and little pom-poms to make them this I glued some extra sticks on the back to give him arms and then I bought this little package of hats which I got I believe at Hobby Lobby you can get a whole pack of them again for I think something like $2.99 this is actually just a button from Joann's they sold like a six pack of these little carrot buttons in the sewing section I thought those were really cute this is just a styrofoam star that I got off of um, a floral pick I just pulled the star off and used that and the rest of the pick I used on separate other projects just a little bow you can use really anything that you want they're so versatile they're so fun and they are so cute okay so here's how you make one you need sticks if you don't have any sticks in your yard totally fine you can use a dowel and just cut it down to size or you can make one big tree you can use these paper straws they have these at Walmart uh, Hobby Lobby I saw them at Dollar Tree these ones are really cute because it's the Buffalo check pattern that's just so in style this year you can also use cinnamon sticks I've been seeing them in cinnamon sticks for me today I'm just gonna use a regular stick and I'm going to first cut my stem into four different pieces because I want four tiers on my thing and cut your first one's gonna be your biggest one and cut that and then you're gonna put this one a little bit smaller so you're gonna cut it a little bit smaller than that one not by much but enough to make it noticeable and then you're gonna cut this one again a little bit smaller and then this one even smaller now you have a descending size. You take your first one, glue gun, glue it down, hold it till it dries. Second one, a little bit higher up, not by much. And leave a little bit of a space, but not much. See how much of a little space I left? But not a lot. This one above that same length and then the smaller one at the top okay so there you go now you can embellish it however you want for this one I'm gonna use pom-poms so I'm gonna take my glue gun these little tiny pom-poms I think I got at Joann's a long long time ago the Hobby Lobby sells them too and then Dollar Tree also has these bags of pom-poms like this and you get a whole bunch and 80 of them 80 pieces and there's a bunch of little ones at the bottom along with the big ones that you can use for this project too and then I'm gonna just glue the pom-poms on to the bottom one first. I'm gonna take a small amount of glue. I'm gonna do all red on the bottom one. Another one. I'll do 
four on this row. I'm gonna do some green ones on the second row. I'm gonna split these up, green, red, green, red. On the layers. done. I'm pull off all the glue gun strings at the end. I'm going to do some two red ones on this one. I like things symmetrical. And I'll do one green one at the top. tree so far and it's okay my sticks a little bent so it's a little curved but I think it just adds character makes it look more rustic and homemade I'm gonna pull all these strings off from the glue gun you probably can't see them but I can okay now we need to add a bow for the top so I took some of this Baker's twine colored red and white Kind of cute and tied it off into a little bow and I have a little bow I'm gonna glue that to the top For the hanger on the back, I'm just going to take a piece of twine, cut it, just a small piece, and fold it in half, kind of twist the bottom a little bit, and flip your ornament over. Then you're going to glue, just a small strip of glue down the back side of the ornament. You're going to stick your twine on that. Hold it. And then you have a hanger. How cute. You can use anything to do these. And it's really easy for the kids. You could just make them one so they don't have to use the glue gun and do it plain and then just let them take regular white glue and embellish it themselves and they can make ornaments for their family. This could be a great school project. It's really simple, really cute. If you guys make them, I'd love to see pictures. Please share. Thank you and happy crafting.